Hey everyone, this is Dan with SP Motorsport. On this week's product spotlight, we're gonna go over our Stage 3 track bike kit that covers the Mustang, GT, and EcoBoost line and the GT500. Our Stage 3 track bike kit consists of the differential lockout bushings, the cradle lockout bushings with lockout arms, and the vertical links. As you can see on the table, we have two different types of vertical links. You get one or the other, depending on which car it is. These are for the GT500, and these are for the Mustang GT. Mustang GT ones are anodized red, the 500s are black to set them off and make it easier for us to keep track. On the vertical links, we'll kind of start here and explain what they do and why you need them and how they're kind of built. And we'll put a picture up here so you can see where they go on the car. They're anodized red, obviously, with a Delrin bushings and stainless steel sleeves. So we'll kind of get a close up here on the table. You can see the one thing that we do with our vertical links, it's a little bit different than everyone else is the sleeves are stainless steel. So they will not gold, rust, do anything, you know, negative to affect their movement and or uh, wear. These are Delrin bushings. It is a POM slash Delrin material. It's an extremely hard nylon like plastic that's considered to be self lubricating and it's machined as if though it's aluminum. So it's a very, very solid uh, bushing material because it has very little deflection, but because it's self lubricating, it can pivot and spin and still move as needed. The main purpose of the vertical link is obviously it's a vertical, vertical link in that fashion. And the main purpose of it is to hold the hub upright as an assembly. And what it does is it keeps the hub from deflecting under power. And the factory rubber bushings are very common um, to deflect under power situations and cause wheel hops and things of that nature. And these will completely eliminate that. And obviously it's a, it's a great starting point for even a stock car if you're taking it to the track. And then moving back here, Actually, before we even get on to the differential bushings, we'll go right over here to the GT500 vertical links. Same fashion, they, they work in the same exact manner, but because of the brake size on the GT500, they had to adjust the linkage and change kind of its placement in the car to make room. So the functionality of it is exactly the same. And it's still built exactly the same way. It's just a little bit shorter of a link. And as you can see, it's a nice machine Delrin bushing material. It's all tolerance out just perfectly um, to allow just the right amount of movement and deflection. So those are the GT500 ones. Now, if you would get this kit, um, you would obviously get either one or the other depending on the car. And then moving back here, you have the differential bushings. And these aren't actually bushings. These are, it's a, we refer to them as bushings, but what they are is they're a lockout kit. And what they do is they cradle into the factory bushing in behind it and actually lock it out to the outer edge of the bushing cup. And by doing this, you're pretty much eliminating any flex. And this would be the front and rear. And it would essentially go like that to lock it out. And then these also include uh, hardware to do so because you have to change the bolts. So, and that's the same, you know, as far as the, as far as the bushings and stuff go, you know, obviously referring to them, referring to them as a bushing, but they are just a lockout kit. So you do not need to remove the factory bushing to install these. You can actually leave them in the car and these just cradle in around the bushing to help lock it out. I recommend the lockout bushings, especially if you're making over say six, 700 horsepower and you're taking it drag racing. Um, a road course car doesn't necessarily need the differential lockout bushings, but for drag racing, it's definitely a big help as far as eliminating wheel hop and especially deflection on the axles and, and things of that nature. Uh, moving up here, we have our cradle lockout. So it's exactly what you know they, they sound like. They, once again, do not remove the bushings from the cradle assembly. They go in over top and essentially lock the cradle to the body of the car. 
and lock out the rubber bushing. So as you can see here on this one, the one thing that we do that kind of sets our kit apart is it has a locator built in to the cup, the lockout cup. Uh, some of the other kits on the market, they make you purchase the isolator or the, the locator separately. We build them right into the cup, so there's no need to purchase anything else. And what that does is whenever you put, this is a lower one for the back, whenever you install this and put the cap on it, which goes on top of the cradle, and you sandwich it in, it's all locked and literally located with the bolt itself, which is a really nice feature. And carrying over to the lockout arms, which are essentially the bottom lockout for the front end of the cradle, same thing. It's all keyed perfectly for the factory bushing, and it also has that same locator built in to these. And obviously, this is a billet arm, red anodized, 100% billet chunk. The one really nice thing that we do is we retain the factory hardware for simplicity. And we also, in the design of this part, factored in a, a nice jacking point. So these are a really solid jacking point on the car, which is something other than the pinch welds, um, is something on the car that's kind of a pain in the ass. So being able to jack off of this part if you need to and pick the car up um, it's very nice if you're changing you know your drag tires out on the car and whatnot at the track and um, obviously you know this is the this is the way i prefer to do these kits on the car with the lockout arms um, rather than another kit that we have for the cradle that comes with instead of the lockout arms it comes with another set of lower bushings for the front i prefer the lockout arm on the front it's way more stable um, the other thing that this does too is not only is it add jacking point and get rid of deflection. It's also a really good looking piece under the car if you're looking under the car at all. Um, I know that sounds kind of dumb, but a lot of people like that. All right, now that we kind of went over all the individual components to our stage three track bike kit, uh, I also want to tell you, know, you guys as far as the customer or the consumer that each piece of this kit is available separately. So if you want to just buy vertical links or you want to buy the cradle lockout, which the cradle lockout, the base kit, I think it is referred to as our stage two kit, does not come with the lockout arms. It comes with another set of bushings for the front. You can only get the arms if you do the stage three kit, which comes with everything. So you can get the vertical link separately, uh, the lockout bushing kit for the cradle separately, and also the lockout bushings for the differential. All available separately. And hardware, instructions, everything's included with the kit. It's a very simple install that anybody can do if they have jack stands and a floor jack. Um, it's one of the things that we like to do with a lot of the components and products that we make. We want to make them easy to install for the customer and make it something that pretty much anyone can do with some mechanical ability. So that covers it for this week's product spotlight on the Stage 3 Track Bike Kit that SPE makes for the Mustang GT EcoBoost and GT500s. And we thank you for tuning in and we'll catch you on the next one.